Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Johnny. Today's the fourth in a series I'm doing about gotchas when working with paginated reports. There's little things that might just trip you up. Today, we're looking at adding totals. If you add a table visual in Power BI, by default, it'll have a total row. Here we can see totals for sales revenue, sales costs, sales margin percentage, and sales unit quantity. We've been working on creating a version of this Power BI report as a paginated report. If you haven't seen the video so far, I'll add a link here. When we go look at that report, it doesn't look like it's got a total when we look at it in design view. And if we run it, and go to the end of the report, nope. No totals here, but it is really easy to add that total row. If I click on one of the cells in my tablets and right click, here I've got an add total option. If I click that, my total gets automatically added. Or if I undo that change, what I can do is multi-select the columns I want to add totals for and add them all in one click. If I run my report now, and again navigate to the last page, here we are. But wait, what's this? 25,000%? Something has gone awry. What's happened here is the paginated report has simply summed up all of the percentages in that column. And so here's your gotcha. If you've read the definitive guide to DAX, or if you've spent hours watching SQL BI YouTube videos, your brain is now wired to think about row and filter context when DAX executes. However, the total row in a paginated report is being calculated after the DAX is executed. There is no concept of row or filter context to apply. In business intelligence terms, that sales margin percentage measure is now what we call a non-additive measure. You can't simply sum it up. There are two possible ways to get around this. The first one I'd describe as a more advanced technique, and as such I'm not going to go into that in depth today. A high level explanation of that technique is that you need to customise your DAX and add in this roll-up syntax. What that will do generate this grand total row. You can then do some jiggery pokery in your paginated report to make sure the detail section excludes that grand total and the total row includes it. But I think the more straightforward option is to use an expression in the paginated report itself. If I go into my report and select the cell that contains my sales margin percentage measure, if I right click, have the expression option here. If I click that, it launches this expression editor. To calculate a sales margin percentage, first of all I need to calculate my margin, which I can do by subtracting my costs from my revenue, and then I'll need to divide that margin figure by my revenue. Now if you know the syntax for paginated report expressions, you can hand type that all up here, or you can use the options in the bottom of this window to drag and drop the information you need. Let me show you. That's the sum of my sales revenue. Minus the sum of my sales cost. And if I wrap that in brackets, then divide that by the sum of my sales revenue. Click OK, and let's run the report. Again, let's navigate to the last page. If 
There we go. That looks much more sensible. In fact, if we compare that to the totals from our Power BI report, we'll see they now match. So, take care when using totals in paginated reports. Remember, by default, it will try to add up those non-additive measures, which will give you some pretty funky results. You'll need to give a bit of thought for how to deal with the totals for measures of that type. Once again, just to stress, this report still isn't finished. We'll carry on adding to this over the next few weeks until it's ship shape and ready to be released to end users. And whilst we do that, I'll take you through some more gotchas as well. I hope that has been useful. As always, if you've got any questions or feedback, please do slide into that comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along for more content about Power BI, and especially if you want to follow this series about paginated reports, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.